Looking at other business stories now, in a grand move to further its compressed natural gas drive, President Bolatinumbu's steering committee for the presidential initiative of compressed natural gas held its inaugural meeting. This is in line with the government's plans to introduce CNG as a cost-effective alternative to premium motor spirit or petrol for public transportation. Papetra Fasumipita has more in this package. Is gone. Since this firm declaration on the end of fuel subsidy by President Bola Tinubu, the need to cushion the effect on Nigerians has been a major debate. Even organized labor went up in arms. The government proposed the use of gas as an alternative that is compressed natural gas, also known as CNG. Last week, President Bola Tinubu's chairing committee for the presidential initiative on compressed natural gas, PICNG, held its inaugural meeting. If you look at the terms of reference, they will largely be focusing on developing strategies um, which will help to sort of um, fast track the implementation of the directive. Could this be the silver bullet that will transform Nigeria's energy mix? They might likely be cost savings, um, particularly if you then look at what we're spending on importing um, fuel in, into the country on diesel. So what, if we can um, ramp up production of CNG, and then have a good number of both transportation and even industrial processes and perhaps um, to some extent power generation leverage on CNG, then it will then reduce the cost of looking for some of these alternative fuels, which has even implications to our forex. Is compressed natural gas available in Nigeria already? And are there any real plans to make it accessible? The NNPC and its um, subsidiaries have pretty much nationwide gas distribution infrastructure, which is a good thing which the private sector can then leverage on in terms of either concessioning or entering into joint ventures or even setting up um, independent gas infrastructure and then everything comes together to develop your gas hubs. So that's in place. Earlier, I reached out to a number of firms who have advertised being in the CNG mix, but they did not grant permission to access their plants. It's, it's conversion, of course, of the vehicles or facilities to CNG might be easier, but if you don't want to, cascade these down to um, available vehicles on the street, then issues of affo affordability by the masses then comes up under. And I think we are looking at prices around 250 to 350 thousand for conversion of vehicles. At the moment, a national takeoff date for CNG is not known, but some companies are already generating electricity from these. Even individuals are converting the petrol powered generators to gas. But to make this as viable as required, more investments in large-scale infrastructure is essential. Will this be financed in Nigeria or will foreign investment be sought? The sooner this is answered, the faster Nigerians can reap the benefits. The Petra Fasomipita reporting for News Central.